Now the first step, you're going to remove any existing window treatment or hardware that will not be used for the new curtains. Mount the rod brackets on the farthest edge from the window where you have a wall stud and a couple of inches above the window opening, as seen here in the circles. Curtains are easy to make once you know how big they need to be. Then it's just a bunch of hems. There are two measurements we're going to need to get started. A. The length of the finished curtain from the top of the rod to the bottom of where it's going to hang. And B. The width of the opening. How wide is the window or doorway that you're trying to put a curtain into? The length from the top of the rod to the desired position plus 4.75 inches. The overall length from the top of the curtain rod to the desired bottom of the finished curtain area will be 40 inches. Each curtain blank... Whoa, 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 whoa. You want another way to calculate curtain sizes? I built a spreadsheet that you can plug in your window measurements and get your finished curtain blank size. See the video description for a link. Now you can buy fabric at the fabric store, but I wanted to share a couple of options you may not have considered. Thrift stores sometimes have cast off fabric remnants for a fraction of the cost at the fabric store. And it's good for the environment to reuse or recycle. Another thrift shop option is bed sheets. They're cheaper than fabric remnants. The print is usually suitable for curtains. Plus you're repurposing something that was headed for the landfill. The flat sheet sizes gives you an idea of how big each size of bed sheet is. So if you're at the Goodwill or a thrift store looking for something that you can use to make some curtains, this will give you a rough idea of what you need to have and what you'll need to be looking for. This curtain features a 3 inch curtain rod pocket at the top, 3 inch seam allowances and a 1 inch finished hem on the sides and the bottom. I can't stress enough how important dimensional accuracy is. Both curtains need to fit the opening correctly and they need to be the same size. It's worth the time to measure all the hems to keep them uniform. And while you can use a ruler, Dritz makes a sewing gauge for less than three bucks. It's great for ensuring that all hems are the correct size. If you're not interested in the Dritz sewing gauge, you could make the top secret manly sewing curtain gauge. To easily mark and iron all the hems on your curtain. It's very simple to lay out a one inch line, a three eighths inch line, and a three inch overall width. You can make it as long as you want. Make it out of a piece of cardboard off of a cereal box, whatever you've got laying around. Warning, make sure there's no adhesive on the gauge as it will melt onto your iron or your fabric. Don't ask how I know this. Using the gauge is very straightforward. Starting with the 3 8 inch line, fold the edge of the fabric up to the 3 8 inch line and press it flat with an iron. Then flip the gauge around, fold it up to the 1 inch line and press it flat with the iron. Remove the gauge and pin your crisp new hem. It looks really nice. Now our seam allowance is just to keep the edges from coming loose and we're going to fold and iron all four edges over, they're 3 eighths of an inch, and sew them down. Do this first. Then you can sew the side seams, which are 1 inch. You fold, iron, and sew the right and left sides. Now we're going to make the curtain rod pocket so we can hang our curtain. Fold the top edge down 3 inches, iron the seam, and sew the bottom edge of the curtain rod pocket. This should be pretty easy because our curtain gauge is three inches wide so you should be able to put it in there and get your three inch crease all the way across it so make sure you iron it down and sew it. To get the bottom hem where you want it you're going to test hang the curtain so you can pin the bottom hem where you'd like to have it. Then iron the seam and sew it. How'd they come out? I think the new curtains look great so far my cat Boots hasn't damaged them. The curtains let the breeze in and they remind me of when I was a boy. Everybody had curtains.